Kinara, kinara ako ng mga bata kung nagchichutor ba daw ako. Mm. Okay. Meron kasi nagchichutor doon, 100 rupees. Tapos, kinausap ako. Meron dito ang If they can buy, uh, I they can pay 10 rupees. I'll go. I'll go. Subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Thank you. Hello guys, welcome to our channel and Today, I want to discuss about education here in India. As a parent, it is important for us that our children have good education, diba? And for here, we have to think that uh, the people here, I mean the parents here, we have to think the education of their children and the food that they have to eat. Paano nga ba nila hahatiin yung pang-araw-araw na kita about their food and for the education? Sino ba naman kasing parents na hindi isi-send yung uh, mga anak nila in school? So, we as parents, we want the children have good education and have good food. So, here in India... That's a good news kasi um, aside from their giving free education, this is the school here in the village uh, from 1st standard to 7th and this government is giving free education and for the parents that they will, uh, parang naiinhan sila na isasend yung mga anak nila sa school is, the school also is providing food. Uh, kasi nung bago ako dito kasi guys, ang tanong ko, bakit yung mga estudyante palaging may dalang plato at baso? So, sa curiosity ko, talagang inalam ko dito sa school, kung ano nga ba, dun sa asawa ko din pala mismo, bakit palaging yung mga bata dala-dala yung plato at baso nila? So, he is uh, he's telling me that, For, in order for the parents to send their children to school and they don't worry about the food, so the government is giving free food for the whole day and sending their children here. Ang nga lang hindi na tayo papasok kasi sarado and pandemic. Uh, nakapasok na rin ako dito minsan guys. Uh, min minsan may program kasi sila about mother and daughter and they invited us to join the whole family was here and my sister in law was uh, the head of flag raising ceremony and they give us uh, appreciation for having uh, for to be here also kaya kilala naman yung principal dyan pero hindi na lang natin mapasok kasi pandemic and uh, the school are closed they are just opening here every day uh, one hour to give The students are coming to take the modules kasi nga, di ba, hindi naman also dito yung internet, yung wifi. May mga mobile data pero hindi naman lahat nakaka-open ng, ng modules doon. So, teachers are giving modules here. And for the parents, sometimes they came but those who are big students already come. And I want to tell you also that for those who finish the whole year, the children got incentives, guys. So, yun yung kagandahan na pag natapos nila yung buong taon at the end of the year, they will get money direct to their bank. So, here, as the children have 6 years old, when they reach 6 years old, the government is asking them to open account in the postal bank. Kasi, doon pumapasok yung pera para sa mga bata. Um, before, I already said the uh, nung birthday ni Perry na uh, the children got uh, food supplies every month and even when the someone gave on their first child they will get also money so hindi lang free free hospitalization they will give also an uh, amount to put in the bank so ganun din dito after when the child is 6 years old the government is requiring us to open an account at doon lang yung sa government school ha yun lang yung namimigay talaga ng ano ng incentives at the end of the year and for the school supplies guys 
kasi nag-worry tayo. How about the school supplies and uniforms? The government also, guys, are providing free uniforms and free school supplies. So, ano ka bang hahanapin mo? As a parent, syempre, di ba, masaya na tayo na papasok yung mga, mga anak natin libre. Libre na nung gamit. Libre, libre pa pagkain. So, you have nothing to worry with your child when you sent them at school. So, yung poproblemahin na lang nila, yung pagkain nila sa bahay. And, they have nothing to worry if going to work also. Kasi, hindi dito yung mga bata sa school. So, ayun. And, maya-maya naman, ipapakita ko sa'yo yung mga tuition. Kasi nga, uh, may mga tutorial kasi, hindi lahat naman ng parents dito marunong magbasa at magsulat. They just want their children to put the, uh, their, their children to to learn. Kasi hindi nila naranasang matutong magsulat. Kung marunong mo sila magbasa, magsulat, uh, hindi pa rin sila, parang takot silang pumasok sa mga town area, sa mga bangko. I remember my brother-in-law, uh, people are coming to him to put their money in the bank or giving a blank check para lang ma-withdraw yung pera nila. Parang takot na takot silang pumasok sa mga offices. Kaya, Siguro na rin, yun na rin ang nagtulak sa kanila to send their children for a good education. Para in future, hindi na sila hahanap ng ibang tao dun lang sa mga anak nila. And guys, uh, the reason why the children are stopping the road while I, walk in, I was walking there is we think that I'm the one who is uh, giving a tutorial here in, uh, in the village. But the mistake is, this is our home and the next house is the one who is providing a tutorial. But it's not free. Uh, the parents have to pay 100 rupees per month. And the child that approached me is asking if he can give me uh, some vegetables like ampalaya um, or he can pay me 10 rupees just to enter in tuition at Hindi, wala, hindi naman na sa kamay ko. Wala sa kamay ko yung uh, decision na yun kasi hindi naman ako yung nagtuturo. And even I want to teach, iba kasi yung mother tongue nila. And I don't know their uh, alphabet. Kaya mahihirapan ako magturo in case if they want my help. Kaya ito naman, tingnan natin yung mga nagpapachutor. Ayan, may mga bata dyan. Tapos... Mayroon ngang sit-in. Ayun si Pari. Gustong-gusto niya ang makikisit-in doon. Kaya, ayan, yun yung mga batang yan ay sinend ng mga magulang dito kasi they are the one, uh, their parents cannot teach them their lesson. So, they have to send someone. Mas uh, uh, known dito na there's the students have a tutorial or tuition kasi nga, yung mga parents hindi nila kayang uh, turuan yung mga anak nila. Not because they don't have time, but they don't have enough knowledge to teach their children. Kaya that's safe. Hindi naman ganun kamahalan, pero siguro yung iba ayaw nga talagang magbigay na uh, hindi nila kayang magbayad ng 100 rupees. So, for those who are able to pay, they send their children here. Around 9 children, I think 9 to 10 children from uh, first standard to third standard like that. that uh, just teaching the the basic writing and reading. After naman nun, kasi kaya nila, dun sa school, so only, only lang basic lang talaga, na tutorial. Kaya, ayan guys. Meron din kumikita dito, pero it helped also the parents dito sa village. Hindi naman ganun kamahalan, Pero, natututo yung anak nila dito. Near the school is my ink. My ink's home. Siya yung batang uh, laging nagbibigay. Laging nagbibigay sa akin ng lemon. So, ito yung dalanda nila. Kaso, sobrang asim eh. So, my ink is a friend of mine. Right, my ink? 7th grade na siya. Tapos, tagalaga sa kanya yung lola at lolo niya. Uh, yung father niya ay isang driver. Kaya, walang oras sa kanya. And, his mother left 
few years ago. So, ayan. Mayink is always a giver. Masaya yung bata yan. Good in school. Eh? Oh, diba? Nagkakaindidihan kami. We are in broken Gujarati. <laughs> yan. Yan yung batang sinasa yan yung batang sinasabi ko na palagi akong nagbini palagi akong binibigyan ng bayabas, lemon, and papaya. But since I have papaya already, ako na yung nagbibigay. Ito yung bayabas niya kaso Kabibigay lang niya sa akin last week eh. And he really study hard alone kasi hindi naman niya hindi naman siya natutulungan ng lolo't lola niya but he said he tried to be good in school. And he's on 7th grade kaya siguro lilipat na naman ng school kasi and hanggang 7 lang yung school na nandito. Kaya ayan ang apit bahay kami. Galing sa school. Lapit na ng bahay nila dito. And Raichu is here. And dito naman yung kusina nila Mayink. And yan yung lola niya. Madilim sa loob. Nagluluto. So ba na ay? Cabbage? Cabbage. Ah, cabbage ba ta ka? Oo, ba ta ka na hinasya mo? Nahi. Ah, only. Cabbage lang daw. Hindi na niya nilalagyan ng patatas. Tatlo lang naman sila ang kakain. So, yan. Masayahin si lola. <laughs> and sino na kamis ng banga ayan yung water nila so yan yung mga ulam namin kahapon nga yung ulam din namin is cabbage so, ito din cabbage mura lang yung cabbage this time so, siya yung nagluluto pinapakuha nga kami ayun sila sila yung Walang wala. Yung mga taong walang wala. They really don't forget to give. Kasi pwede naman nilang ibenta. Kaso pinamibigay. And when I offer something to my he don't give. He don't accept. Halos alangan pa siya. Pero pag magbigay yan, wagas. Minsan lang yan humingi sa amin. Yellow. May dala pa yung bote. Pinagay niya ng paano. Pinapalagay niya sa freezer. Kasi kailangan daw ng cold compress ng lola niya. Yan yung batang masikap sa pag-aara. Yung nagtatalo na siya. And our side naman guys. Iwan ako. Nag-online class din. But... They're in module style kasi nandito pa rin kami sa rural areas. Even though she's enrolled in a private school, uh, nor, uh, yung, yung type ng class nila is a module style. Yung teacher nagsisend lang ng video, wala talagang actual. Kasi nga, uh, some of the students don't have access of Wi-Fi. Even as we don't have also. And... We don't have computers, kaya phone lang. So, we can use ordinary phone for uh, accepting, uh, receiving files from the teacher. Kaya ayan, we are receiving lesson every day and the parents as well we will discuss. Even there is a video and parents have to discuss what is missing there. Pag hindi naintindihan ng bata, kailangan... Uh, magulang nag, ano, magulang yung nag explain Kaya sin siguro, uh, may mga tuitions na, or tutorial na nangyayari everywhere. Kasi nga, hindi naman lahat ng magulang nakakaintindi ng mga lesson ng mga bata, di ba? Kaya, ayan, si Rajvi. And we have our board here. Kasi nga, may subject siya na, uh, Walang book, hindi na kami pinabili ng isang book. Pero may mga books siya in other subjects naman. Pag yung books niya ang gagamitin, dun kami sa study table niya. Pero pag yung isang subject na kailangan na ako yung magiging teacher, ako yung magsusulat dun sa blackboard, and she have to copy it. Already I discussed it to her, we read it together already. At the same time, she have to uh, write it on her notes. Kaya instead of uh, giving her the my phone and copy the lesson from the uh, from the WhatsApp to her notebook, I have to write it, transfer it to the blackboard, and she have to write it in her own. 
Kaya parang nagiging teacher and student uh, relationship pa rin. Parang nahi-feel pa rin niya na sa classroom siya. The missing is classmates. Wala siyang kakulitan. And in my situation, he don't have a uh, tuition but he tried himself to do it alone. And with the help of teachers naman siguro. Kaya, ayun, wala, hindi na siguro niya kailangan. Tsaka, grade 7 naman siya, kaya pwede nang sarili niya kasi wala nga yung nanay niya. And his grandparents don't know some lessons also. Kaya, sariling sikap yung batang yun. Pero, bait yun. Palagi yung nangungumusta sa daan. Yun yung bata na uh, nangungumusta pag nasasalubong ko sa daan. Hindi yung ibang bata na nagtatanong kung pwede bang magpa, magpaturo ng libre. Siya, he never, never, he never asked help from us. Kaya, believe ako sa batang yun. And, for Rajvi, good student naman siya. Tamad lang talaga magsulat. <laughs> Ganun naman siguro yung bata. <laughs> Pero at least, he, she's trying naman. Yun nga lang, nagre-reklamo kasi marami nang isusulat. Right, Rajvi? You don't like to write. Pinapahirapan doon siya yung picture niya. <laughs> and that's the end of our vlog for today. Ayan, inuubo na. Medyo hindi maganda yung panahon ngayon kasi nagbago yung weather. Uh, biglang aaraw tapos uulan. Kaya apektado yung mga bata. Hindi lang mga bata, pati yung mga matatanda. Kaya ayun. So, that's the end of our vlog for today. I hope you learned something from India na may mga libre din. Uh, the school are giving free uniforms, books, and incentives for the family, plus the food every day. Hanggang 12 standard yun, ha? Uh, from 1st until 12, they will get food, but this pandemic, they don't give, but... Uh, the village naman is uh, sending food each household for the children. Kaya meron pa rin mga pagkain yung mga bata. Okay. And finally, I will have bid goodbye for the meantime. And till next time, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. Bye.